This is a jackhammer. And this is a rock. And you're watching part two of Jackhammer Philosophy. Before we dive into today's deep thinking, it's time for a quick tech tip. Today's quick tech tip is pick the right pick tip for your pick. There's all kinds of pick tips, including some that look pretty rude. So pick a pick tip you like the look of and get into it. Jackhammering is a lot of fun. So now, let's get back to jackhammer philosophy. After hammering my first rock, I knew something massive had changed in my head. For the first time, I had gone through a rock on the road of my life instead of around it. It transformed my paradigm. My head literally felt lighter, like something had been taken out of it. Back then I didn't know what was missing, but now I understand it. You see, everyone's got a rock inside their head they need to chip away at. It's a rock blocking the road in your mind, like a roadblock or a giant yellow banana that's so giant you can't even peel it. You can't be all you can be if you've got a big rock inside your head or a banana. So when you're jackhammering rocks, what you're really doing is jackhammering your own head. You're peeling that banana and when you're done, you're back on the road of life. Think about that. I've thought about it a lot. By the way, what you're watching here is footage of my second and third rocks ever. They were still small ones, but I was already starting to lose my mind. Professional athletes call it getting in the zone. And that's what we'll talk about next time in part three of Jackhammer Philosophy. In the meantime, think about the rocks in your head. I've thought about mine a lot.